Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. In the awakening, we all have been subject to multiple doctrines of devils. The Most High wants to put an end to the adverse effect the doctrines of devils is causing in the awakening. There are multiple doctrines being pushed that do not represent the Most High. The doctrines of devils are deceiving Israelites to glorify their flesh. In addition, the doctrines of devils is promoting the kingdom of darkness. The scriptures spoke of a time when good will become evil and evil will become good. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Israelites, we are living in these times. The brave individuals who are risking their lives in exposing the kingdom of darkness is being shamed, while the synagogue of Satan who carry out the kingdom of darkness agenda is protected. The Pharisees and Sadducees in this generation is helping the kingdom of darkness tarnish the awakening. They are interested in exalting themselves and seeking to find followers after themselves. The modern day Pharisees are not aware of the negative interference their selfishness is causing in the Israelite community. The Most High warned us of such people when he revealed to us in the scriptures that leaders will arise to draw disciples after themselves. But I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. When the kingdom of darkness blind your eyes, it is difficult for the victims to see their error and sins. The scripture said the God of this world has blinded their minds, causing the victims not to see the glorious power of the Most High. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. When the kingdom of darkness has distorted your view, the victims begin to make excuses for their iniquities. In addition, they use the scriptures to justify their sins. Today, we are witnessing so-called leaders promoting unrighteousness, and they believe the Most High is supporting them because they have a large following and worldly success. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness bless and support all who push their agenda. The kingdom of darkness would not persecute the disciples of Satan unless they switch sides. Then the kingdom of darkness would strip them of all they have. Do not mistake the success of those who promote the kingdom of darkness with the blessings from the Most High. You have to learn to differentiate between blessings from the Most High and false blessings from the kingdom of darkness. For example, the Most High would not bless you with millions of dollars just for you to squander your wealth on prostitutes and material wealth that cannot save your soul. The millions came from the kingdom of darkness. Remember, money is an idol and you cannot serve the Most High in money. The scripture said blessings and cursing should not come out of the same mouth. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. The scripture said that this behavior is unacceptable, yet the self-righteous believe they are doing the will of the Most High. You cannot preach about the kingdom of righteousness and out of the same mouth curse someone out. That is not of the Most High. The kingdom of darkness will uplift, bring to the forefront anyone who is against the will of the Most High. For example, leaders and individuals the Most High anointed to help his people in the awakening are persecuted daily and the kingdom of darkness tried to tarnish their reputation and is trying to destroy those individuals or groups. The people who are establishing their own righteousness are popular and promoted. Be careful, Israelites. The scriptures inform us that what is popular with the world is an abomination with the Most High. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. 
If you search for Israelite channels on YouTube, the channels that are popular and highlighted are the rebels and agents among us, while the other channels promoting the Most High and His laws are shadow banned and not being promoted. Satan will promote his disciples and allow the deceived agents who are unaware they are serving him destroy themselves and their communities. Satan will not bother the people who is doing his will. The kingdom of darkness has blinded the eyes of the Pharisees that they will interpret the scriptures in error. If the Holy Spirit is not leading you and revealing truth to you, you will misinterpret the scriptures. The scriptures are sealed. In addition, the scriptures are written in a way that will be hard to decode without the Holy Spirit. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. The kingdom of darkness has blinded the minds of the wicked that I have had people come on the channel in the comment section to defend unclean spirits. These are some lost souls if they are defending unclean spirits that are misleading them. The Most High said he will give the wicked to their lust. In addition, the Pharisees are upholding the truth of the Most High in unrighteousness. But the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Most people believe because the Most High has not judged their iniquities, this indicate the Most High is pleased with them. The heathens believe because they have not been judged for the iniquities of their fathers and their own iniquities, the Most High is pleased with them. Yah is blessing them and have chosen them to be rulers of this world. If they truly had the spirit of the Most High, they would understand that the same scriptures they use to support their claim of being blessed and highly favored by the Most High also declared the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. In addition, Satan is the God of this world. The heathens cannot understand truth because the truth is not in them. You cannot serve the Most High in the kingdom of darkness. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. The heathens cannot handle the spotlight shining on the things they have done and continue to do until this generation. Instead of repenting, they ignore the past and present. The heathens are silencing the people who are shining a light on the diabolical things they have done and continue to do until this day. They believe if they do not acknowledge their involvement, they will not be held accountable. The kingdom of darkness has truly blinded their eyes. The kingdom of darkness is misleading heathens and Israelites who follow the doctrines of devils. Through deception, Satan is able to use them to fulfill his will in the physical realm. The scriptures inform us that a day is coming when the heathens will acknowledge that they have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. With all the truth, Hidden in the Israelites' book of prophecy and history, the Bible, the heathens cannot understand. They will never understand. The day of reckoning is coming. Yah said vengeance is his, he will repay. The Most High's words do not return to him void. In the Israelite community, the Pharisees are promoting the doctrines of devils that come from the lust of man's heart, sponsored by the kingdom of darkness. The wicked are following the traditions of men that steals Yah's glory. The kingdom of darkness will support and promote anything anti-Yah. The kingdom of darkness is preventing Israelites and heathens from seeing the coming wrath of the Most High against them. They are blinded by the lust of the flesh and material wealth that they believe they have time. The fear of the Most High is not in the Pharisees that proudly promote the doctrines of devils. The Most High prepared harsh punishment for those who mislead his sheep. Many among us that were not called are leading the people of the Most High. Through their misguided zeal, they collaborated with the kingdom of darkness to bring destruction against the awakening. Israelites, there is a difference between slaves and servants. The kingdom of darkness used slavery to enlarge its control in the physical realm. The kingdom of darkness know how to phrase words to bring forth confusion. For example, the chosen people are Israelites, not Israeli. 
the workers of iniquity remove the chosen people's name, Israelites, in the scripture, replace it with Jew. By the synagogue of Satan changing and replacing words, the people will confuse the real descendants of the Israelites with the people who refer to themselves as Jews. Another play on words, Shem descendants are Shemites, not Semites. Whenever the Israelites forsook the Elohim of Israel, the Most High would exile his people and the Israelites remain in captivity until they repent. The Israelites became slaves on multiple occasions. The Israelites spent most of their life in slavery that Jeremiah the prophet asked the Most High, all the Israelites are natural born slaves. Why are they spoiled? Is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? Why is he spoiled? When the Israelites were in the land of Mizraim, they became slaves to a Hamite ruler who did not know Joseph. The descendants of Mizraim afflict the Israelites and place heavy labor on the Israelites. The scriptures refer to the land that belonged to Mizraim as the land of bondage. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Slavery is harsh and mistreatment to the people who were put in bondage. Slaves had to comply with their masters. If they rebel, they risk death and their workload would increase. The Israelites went into multiple captivity due to their failure to serve the Most High. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Although the Israelites were slaves during the Mizraim captivity, the Israelites live in the best part of the land of Ham. They live in Goshen. The Most High separated his people from the descendants of Mizraim who inhabited the other parts of the land. The Israelites had to endure harsh treatment from the Hamites and heavy labor. The heathens were cruel to the Israelites during the Mizraim bondage. They treated them worse than animals. The heathens were afraid of the Israelites due to their population. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass, that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies, and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. Fast forward to our ancestors' generation, the heathens in our grandparents' and great-grandparents' times were diabolical. They raped our ancestors, sold their children to other slave masters, forced heavy labor on their children and their parents. They tore apart our families. The wicked heathens feed our ancestors' children to alligators. The heathens place our people in human zoos. The heathens destroy the self-esteem of the Israelites by speaking badly on our features and appearance that we cannot control. Elevate themselves as the standard of beauty, a look that is the opposite of our natural born image that is made in the likeness of the Most High. The heathens did this and more to keep the Israelites in low vibrations. When you operate in low vibrations, also known as the flesh, the kingdom of darkness have total control over you. We have been in captivity for over 400 years until this day we are slaves. And God spake on this wise that his seed should sojourn in a strange land and that they should bring them into bondage and entreat them evil 400 years. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, said God, and after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. The heathens took our sacred texts, transform our culture to religion, alter our scriptures to keep us operating in a bondman and bondwomen positions. The heathens made sure to misinterpret and include that slaves should obey their earthly masters if they want to be saved. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Servants, 
Obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. Religion has a stronghold on our people that when the truth of who they are is revealed, in addition, when the Most High wants to deliver our people out of the house of bondage, they are afraid to separate from religion due to fear of being left behind. The scripture said the truth will set you free. Today, Israelites are denying the truth to remain in captivity. The kingdom of darkness have a mental control on most Israelites. That is why there is division among us and we cannot support each other, nor have the desire to overcome the strongholds the kingdom of darkness have on our people. Slavery weaponized the heathens. Today, the slave masters use their privilege to have us killed and locked up in jail houses. The heathens know if they call the law enforcers, they can have us kill and they would get away with murder. Until this day, the heathens have not been held accountable for their iniquities. They have not been chastised for the sins of their fathers. The heathens are still on trial for their iniquities. They have to give an account of their sins and judgment awaits all heathens. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Slavery in the kingdom of darkness reign is a system that is used to subjugate the people under demonic control. The Most High's purpose on servitude is to build up nations. In addition, the people working together to establish their communities and take care of their land. The Most High gave his creation dominion on earth. Yah charged his creation to take care of the earth. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Servitude is a way the people are fulfilling what the Most High command of His creation. The people are coming together to subdue the earth. There is always a class system since the beginning. Never did the Most High use servitude to mistreat and dominate other people. The Most High did not allow his people, the Israelites, to mistreat the strangers among them, but to love them. As long as you do what is right, the Most High will support you. The kingdom of darkness is always imitating the Most High to bring forth confusion. Satan copied the Most High's servant system, made it evil, and called it slavery. The kingdom of darkness altered the scriptures to make it seem as if the Most High supports slavery. Yeshua said to his disciples that whoever is the greatest among you would be servants. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Do not believe the false narrative the kingdom of darkness is making the most high servant system to be. The kingdom of darkness slavery system is no different from the employment system we have today. In this generation, in order for the people to make a living, they have to have a job. The people must labor for a corporation in exchange for money. If the corporation's leader is wicked, the employees will suffer. There are many people working for major corporations they dislike. Some people work minimum wage jobs and jobs that go against their belief because that is how he or she is able to provide for their family. With the people working for small businesses and major corporations, this is building up the 1%. The owners of the corporation will prosper while the employees who built the corporation remain poor. The spiritual wickedness in high places makes sure there is inflation every year. That way the people remain dependent on their nine to five to make a living. The kingdom of darkness used the most high concept of servitude to establish the slave system. The kingdom of darkness used extreme measures to maintain their position in the physical realm. 
Satan used the heathens to place heavy labor on the people who are in slavery. Destroy them as a people to overpower them. That is how the heathens gain power and the kingdom of darkness is the force behind the heathens power. Israelites do not mistake slavery with being a servant. The kingdom of darkness has a counterfeit for everything the Most High does. Satan used slavery to gain control of this world. The Most High used servants to work through to bring forth his will in the physical realm. A servant is someone who serve or work for a person. For example, I am a servant of the Most High. Bringing awareness of the kingdom of darkness deceit is serving my community in the Most High. A servant has no problem being a servant to his or her master. A servant is treated with dignity. A servant is like a son or a daughter to his or her master's household. A servant is not mistreated. A servant has the freedom to live without a yoke of iron around their neck. During the year of Jubilee, a hired Israelite servant had the opportunity to redeem themselves and return to their possessions. An Israelite servant was not bound. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. When a person is enslaved, they are living in a hostile environment. They are beaten, raped, murdered, and forced to engage in activities that go against their belief. The enslaved are under heavy labor until their death. The enslaved people were not paid their wages. The slave masters became rich off the slaves' free labor. History can testify to the ill treatment the slaves around the world received. Never confuse servitude with enslavement. Black people continue to be slaves until this day. The Israelites always had hired servants and strangers living among them. The strangers that dwell among the Israelites, the Most High allowed the Israelites to purchase their sons and daughters for servitude, and the strangers were to remain their servants forever. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land and they shall be your possession. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule one over another with rigor. The Most High command his people, the Israelites, not to be cruel to their servants and the strangers that live among them. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him, but the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself. For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. If the Most High command his people back then not to mistreat the strangers, why would he allow the Pharisees to mistreat them in the coming kingdom? The heathens who respected and served the Elohim of Israel would offer themselves to the Israelites as servants. If a servant were treated poorly, he or she would not offer himself or herself to become a servant. The servants that dwell among the Israelites were the other nations living among them. The servants or strangers were farmers, pasture the Israelites' flock, and many other jobs they did. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. The Israelites did not rape murder, sold their servants' children to other nations, treat their servants as property, and scattered their servants all over the world. Nowhere in the scriptures will you read of such behavior by the Israelites. Whenever the Israelites attack the other nations, the Most High command them due to that nation's wickedness. Another reason the Israelites had to fight when their enemies rise against them for war. The scriptures inform us that in the coming kingdom, the strangers will be servants. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors. 
There is a stigma about the servants in the coming kingdom due to the doctrines of devils. Religion hide the fact that all non-Israelites who are serving the Elohim of Israel would be servants. Religion is lying to the people. If everyone is a leader in the coming kingdom, who would they rule over? In the Israelite community, the Pharisees are boldly proclaiming the wickedness they intend to do to the strangers in the coming kingdom. They believe they will mistreat the strangers just as the kingdom of darkness have done to them in slavery. The Most High said, vengeance is his, he would repay. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. The Most High has a special place for all the wicked. The coming kingdom is not of the wicked. If you believe you are going to do diabolical things to the servants in the coming kingdom, the lake of fire is your future home. The Most High is going to avenge the harsh treatment of his people. The Most High is going to make right all the wrongs that was done to his people. It is the Most High that will judge the wicked. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. The leaders who are going to judge the 12 tribes and the leaders that are going to lead along the Messiah in the coming kingdom are righteous. There will be no diabolical treatment of the servants in the most highest kingdom. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The leaders are righteous people. They are not going to curse the servants out, rape women and having orgies. This type of talk is of the kingdom of darkness. The Pharisees and those who followed this teaching are agents put in the awakening to steer the people away from the truth. The kingdom of darkness implanted the Israelites who sold their soul to commit crimes. Satan used these crimes to accuse all Israelites who choose to come out of her. Satan is accusing us day and night before the Most High. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Remember, Satan wants to control both sides the awakening and the opposition. Israelites, this is why it is important that the anointed people of the Most High denounce the doctrines of devils, counter the doctrines of devils with the truth of the Most High. That way the people the Most High is drawing to himself will not be misled by the traps from the kingdom of darkness. To the newly awakened Israelites, there will be no mistreatment of the strangers in the coming kingdom. To the strangers, all the non-Israelites who serve the Elohim of Israel, you have a purpose in the awakening. Do not believe the doctrines of devils that is circulating in the Israelite community about being mistreated in the coming kingdom. The doctrines of devils purpose is to cause division and strife. Do not fall for it. Servitude is not the same as slavery. All of us who is doing the will of the most high are servants. Israelites and strangers, the coming kingdom of the Most High is of righteousness, not darkness. We are living in the reign of the kingdom of darkness. The Most High's kingdom is going to be nothing like we are witnessing today. Do not believe the doctrines of devils that are causing Israelites and strangers to stumble. The Most High refers to all his people that do his will as servants. I have found a David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. The Most High did not give us the spirit of bondage. Therefore, slavery is not of the Most High. The servants had an opportunity to purchase their freedom. The year of Jubilee released many servants who volunteered themselves to servitude. Slavery that displaced many indigenous people and the diabolical treatment of the indigenous people is not of the Most High. The heathens are following the kingdom of darkness to fulfill their lustful flesh desires. The ill treatment of black people in slavery result in severe penalties. The slaves and their descendants are the Israelites, the Most High's true chosen people. The heathens are going to pay, it is written. Our focus should not be on the vengeance the Most High will unleash on the heathens. 
Our focus in the awakening should be on repentance and humbling ourselves, returning to serving the Most High in the spirit and in the truth. The Most High will draw his people to him, all who is predestined to live. The wicked are enjoying their time, as the scripture said, just like the days of Noah. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Israelites, appreciate that the Most High has awakened you from your slumber. Live at peace with everyone. Remember, Yah will fight for the righteous. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good.